In this video, we will be checking the exhaust valve clearances on a BMW S50 B32 engine. This is the engine used on the M Roadster, the M Coupe and the E36 M3. The engine should be cold and ideally shouldn't have been used for at least 4 hours. BMW recommend the coolant temperature should be below 35 degrees C. The tolerance for the exhaust valve clearance is 0.28 to 0.33 millimetres. If we were doing the inlet, the inlet tolerance is 0.18 to 0.23 millimetres. Before doing any measurements, you should calibrate your feeler gauges against a micrometer. We're going to use go no go gauges. I've got a 0.23 and 0.09, which on the micrometer is 0.33, and a 0.18 and a 0.09, which on the micrometer is 0.28. I'm going to crank the engine until the cams on number four cylinder, which is this one here, are pointing up to the left. Using the no-go gauges of the 9 and the 23. Neither of them go through the gap. Using the, using the go gauges of the 18 and the 9. goes through the gap on the far cam, doesn't go through the gap on the near cam. The accurate measurement of a cam globe that passes the go no go gauge is not relevant, but you need to accurately measure one that fails. Now I've got a 25.25 uh, 20 millimeter feeler gauge here and I'm getting an impression of how much it's dragging which is in, it's underneath the lobe. This is the approximate feel in the micrometer for the 0.25 feeler gauge. 0.2675 I tend to work in quarters, quarter divisions Make a note of that, real gap is 0.2675. And now we need to remove the shim. There's a little gap in the, in the valve cap. Fill in like that. Press down on the valve cap and Fire the shim out. There's the shim. The shim is nominally 2.80 millimeters, but it's actually 2.805 millimeters. The current total gap size is the sum of the shim size and the gap size which is 3.0725 millimetres. The maximum gap size is 0.33 millimetres, so the hypothetical shim size to achieve this gap would be 2.7425 millimetres. The minimum gap size is 0.28 millimetres, and the hypothetical shim size to achieve that gap would be 2.7925 millimeters. This means that we need a shim size that is between these two values. Shim sizes are in increments of 0.05 millimeters and the nominal shim size that fits the criterion is 2.75 millimeters. I happen to have a 2.75 millimeter shim but it is actually 2.79 millimeters when measured on the micrometer. So it's still within the criteria. 
to install in your shims. Drop a royal. Install the shim number side down. This is actually a nominally 2.75, but it's actually 2.79 when measured on the micrometer. Press the valve cap. Oh, it's gone all the way through. Oh, that's it, isn't it. The way to test if it's properly seated is the valve cap should rotate. Rotate the engine through 720 degrees so the crankshaft, so the camshaft turns one full cycle. cycle. Using the go no go gauges, doing the 0.33 no go first. This shouldn't go in, and it doesn't. And using the 0.28 go gauge, it should go in. And it does. Right, but it goes in. That's all it needs, all it needs to be.